Hello everyone, I'm Hooligan Husky, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Last time, we saved Errol from the Forsaken Fortress, fought a giant bird, confronted Ganon, and now we're back deep under the sea, and we're going to figure out just what's going on here with Tetra, who is struggling right now. She's, yeah, she's struggling quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go inside the castle and see if we can get some answers. To the basement we go. Are you him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the Gossip Stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. <laughs> you made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in a legend... In the legend of the great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place, where the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king, Daphne's Nohansen Hyrule. Husky, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the king of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal, to reveal my true identity to you so long as, as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the Fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So, before sealing a before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who could build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Dan Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. Protecting it, my voice cracked. You too must abide by the laws of past. And so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born. The very reason that you live. My fate. You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. 
You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm... a princess? You were confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Husky! I'm terribly sorry that you haven't... that you... Wow. I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But... Wait, was that- Who is talking here? But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Husky, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I fear f I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Husky, we must go! Oh, that was the king. I'm so confused. Who's talking? Why is he teleporting? Husky, okay, this is definitely Zelda, right? I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's been all- it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. Husky. Be careful. Okay, well, let's go then. <laughs> what was up here? Was there anything like, cause it looked like he disappeared into a staircase going up, but he was probably just going outside, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> nice. Okay. Well, so, the king of red lions is actually the king of Hyrule. And that's kind of cool. We see lions at the staircase. Yeah. Alright, and Tetra is Zelda. So yeah, that's, that's some heavy stuff. Hey! Husky, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the gods' power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier, barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But, each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Okay, let's go, Mr. King of Hyrule. To the surface. Husky, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. 
A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not wor know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows much about things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not if you cannot think of if you can think of no one. Though maybe you would come upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where many people gather. Okay. So, what exactly is our next goal here? Are we going to the temples, or are we looking for the Triforce Shards? Because if we're looking for the Triforce Shards, I'm gonna be super bummed, because... Um... That's just baloney. Eight shards randomly strewn about the sea. Yeah, tons of fun, right? But anyways, I'm gonna go to, the one, to uh, one of the temples and see what happens. Hey, look! Our mailbox is dancing. We have mail. Let's go check it out and see what we got. <gasps> yes? Good morning. Oh, cash on delivery? The- oh! Postage due is what- 201 ru- That's all of my money. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person, thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed is an- is an incredible chart. This chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts and Triforce shards. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They are my favorite kinds of items. And also, sir, have you been checking your Tingle chart? Have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them, and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. You got the incredible chart. Now you know where all the Triforce char charts and shards are hidden. That's positively incredible. Okay, well I guess that is pretty helpful. So... Okay. Let's check it out. Treasure chart. Tingle's chart. Okay. Cool. Incredible chart. Yes. Okay. Good good to know. We've also got a beetle chart. Well, in that case, uh whoops. Let's We're really close to one of them. So let's see and it's yeah. I guess we'll set sail for that one. <laughs> this is my last piece of bait. Aw oh, man, I need to pay a visit to Beetle and buy some more bait. Because man, I'm completely out now. Okay, where exactly is this? Where am I? Hi, oh, small pro. Yeah, we've heard. You've heard. We've all heard. Everyone's heard. You mark the location on my map. Private Oasis. Okay, what are you gonna tell me? What secrets? So tell me, Small Fry, have you heard of the golden set of Triumph Forks? Uh, it's right there, I tell you. The article, genuine, in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and discover the place from floor to ceiling. We heard from another fish about the Triumph Forks. Triumph? Triforce? And this is the location, supposedly, of... Whoops. No, stop. Of one of the Triforce shards. So I think we need to... Look here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Okay. Let's, let's, um, let's check it out, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I only have 39 rupees. Okay, 40. I need a lot more. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk to this telescope guy. We saw him at Forsaken Fortress. 
<laughs> one, one flying seagull. No, two, three. Wait, I see more. Three, four, five, six. No, seven seagulls. Eight. This is madness. Um, I want to see goal. <laughs> okay, you're looking where? Oh yes, over there. That is a whole bunch of seagulls. I wonder what, why they're all gathering there. Oh my gosh, rupees! We've got it. <laughs> We've got to crawl under. Okay, I can't crawl under. Here, maybe under the staircase? No? Okay, let's read this. Mrs. Mary's Cabana, property of Windfall Island's lovely teacher. Visitors not welcome, the management. This is quite a lovely private island. Oh, here we go. Give me the rupees. So do we need to talk to the teacher over on Windfall Island? And maybe say like, hey, we need to go in there for some triumph forks. It's very important, I promise. And she'll be like, Oh yes, of course! I don't care about my triumph forks anyways. I've just realized. It's not just triumph, Triforce. Triumph forks! Triforce! Yeah! There's a Korok. Sorry, your tree is going to remain dead for all eternity. All eternity. So, um... Yes. <laughs> Now, let's... Oh, apparently there are hearts in there. Let's see what happens if we go to the front door. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel, away with you, away, I say. Okay. Yeah, we definitely can't get in there. So... I guess we'll go to Windfall and talk to the teacher and see if we can do something so that we can get inside? Hey! We can warp straight to Windfall Island! How convenient! I love the tune that plays when you warp. It's just so pleasant. Okay, we're here. Beetle! Beetle, beetle, beetle! I need you, and also my mailbox is dancing once again. Let me purchase goods from you, please. Please, please, please. I'm in need of valuable goods. He sells arrows. How about that? Okay. I will buy. Thank you. I... Bye. That's all I'm buying, though, because I'm really running short on rupees. Woo! Okay, it's nighttime. I might have to make it daytime to talk to the teacher. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. What do we have? One letter? How have you been, big brother? It's Errol! I'm here on the pirate ship right, writing this letter. Isn't that neat? At first I was really scared, but they're actually re really nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetris left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad too. <laughs> Nudge is a little strange, but nice too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hehe. <laughs> As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped him. I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little bit for it, so I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. <gasps> I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so you don't- so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself. So you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck. A red ruby! Yay! Thanks, Errol! How sweet. Sup, how are you? Uh, shush, shush. Take off, go away! Okay. <laughs> Who's there?
Yeah. Okay, we can follow her for a side quest. I forgot what it gets you. But, I mean... I mean, it leads to something, but... I don't think we have to do it, actually. Uh, what is in here? I can never remember what's in what building. Oh, this is this place. Splish! We need to talk! I know there may be- I know I may be a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? Twenty years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to, to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want to- they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Please, young man, for me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. You're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to, how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck. Okay, so maybe if we do this for her, she'll give us access to the... Cabana, and then we can go in there. Um, song of passing, right? I screwed it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go. The sun shall rise. It's not as cool as drawing a circle in the sky, but it works. You! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo, bud! You got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to because we're Miss- Because Miss Mary asked you to, right? Yes! We're not- Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four. The killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? Yes. But I'll tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. Battle to the death. I have the master sword. Nothing can beat me. The rules are simple. Simple? What? Simple. <laughs> we're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island, so look for us around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Okay, so we have to play hide and seek with these losers. And then we have to catch them once we actually find them. Okay, here! No. Hmm. I actually have no idea where they are. Okay, okay, okay. Um... One is probably behind the bomb shop or something? Maybe? I don't know. Wait, am I timed? I'm not timed, so I can actually just... Oh. I can take my time with this, I guess. I was just thinking of Majora's Mask and how you have to, ha you have to find the kids and you're timed and that just stresses me out. Yep, here's one. Yep. Whoa! You're mine! Oh, what? They get a head start? They get a massive head start. That's not fair. Ugh. I'm coming for you, loser. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's everywhere. No, come here, come here, come here. Let me get you. Let me get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah, lame. Haha, <laughs> yes. Okay, that's one down. Three to go. Now, where could they be? Uh, let's check up here. Hmm. In the bushes? No. I'm not seeing any quite yet. Uh, maybe... Maybe up here? Oh, jeez. What the? Uh, there's one just... There's one just standing on top of the tree. How is that? Uh, what? Okay, 
Well, we're, we're gonna get him. I need to get back on top of that thing, but I'm not entirely sure how. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Um, um, um. Go past you. And then I just have to climb up here, right? Surely? Maybe? Maybe not? I see you! How do I get to him? Wait. Maybe I don't shoot him. Maybe instead I do this. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna make it. The wind is not in my favor. Crap! Dang it. I can't actually shoot him. What a bummer. Got you. What? I got you. What? What? Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can run, but you can't hide from me. Not anymore. I will catch you. What? Oh, man. Come on, get here. Yes. Yeah, you got me. You bet I did. It's a very good thing that this thing isn't timed. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You're next. Hello, hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All the way out there, huh? <gasps> Guess what? I can do that too. Ah! You're mine. Yes. Yeah, you got me. That's right. Hey, there's the other one. The last one. <laughs> Okay, we got this. Let's go! Ah, yeah, that's right, you better be scared of me. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! You're awesome! Oh, well, thank you. Ah, I can't believe it, you found all four of us, and you caught, all, caught us all too! Talk about utter defeat! Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seek and skills, here, take this, bud. A piece of heart! Woo! Oh, we need one more. And we'll get another heart container. Uh, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Mary for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. I also just realized that it's probably Miss Marie and not Miss Mary. <laughs> oh, well, let's go... Tell her that we did what she asked. What can I do? We need to talk. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? I did. You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill, with, fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare change. A purple rupee worth 50. Cool. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Uh... Uh... <laughs> so... I didn't need to do that? So, there's a different way to get into the, um, that little private yeah. island? Okay. Well. <sighs> that was, that was, um, a waste. I'm gonna end it off here. What? Oh, sounds like you apologized for us. Did you know it's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss, you think maybe we should give her something, some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees, we ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but the teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into those, th into these days, what do you call them, joy pendants? Really, where do you find them? Aren't they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. Where was that? 
Maybe that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? No, that's crazy talk. Okay, wait, maybe if we go back in? Now that we've completed every- all the- exhausted all the dialogue? My dear, that's a joy pendant. Um, extremely hard to come by. I will happily take one. I'd actually like about 20. Okay. Uh, close your eyes, dear. A red rupee. Uh, talk to me? Pendants volunteering the kids. Uh. Okay, yeah. I don't care. You can shut up. Okay. I don't know. There must be some other way to do it. But yeah. Next time, I will know how to get into that private island and we will do just that. But until then... Goodbye.